When you think of calculus, you probably think of Isaac Newton. But what if I told you the foundations were laid almost 300 years earlier by a man whose name most of the world has never heard? Welcome to Infobyte Hub, where we uncover the hidden histories that shaped our world. Today, we're traveling back to 14th century India to meet Madhava of Skangamagrama, the forgotten father of mathematical analysis. Our story begins not in Europe, but in Kerala, a vibrant intellectual hub on the southwestern coast of India. Long before the European Renaissance hit its peak, this region was buzzing with brilliant minds. Among them was Madhava, an astronomer and mathematician who didn't just solve problems, he created entirely new ways to think about them. He founded what we now call the Kerala School of Astronomy and Mathematics, a lineage of thinkers that would change the world. So, what was Madhava's big breakthrough? In a word, infinity. He was one of the first to truly grasp the concept of an infinite series. Now, what does that mean? Imagine adding up a list of numbers that goes on forever. It sounds impossible, right? But Madhava figured out that sometimes, this endless list of numbers adds up to a specific, finite answer. He used this incredible idea to develop infinite series for sine cosine, and arc tangent. If you've taken a high school math class, you know these are fundamental building blocks. These are the tools that form the very bedrock of calculus. While Europe was still centuries away from these ideas, Madhava was writing down equations that look remarkably similar to what Newton and Leibniz would later develop. He was essentially doing calculus without calling it calculus. He was separating the problem into an infinite number of tiny pieces and then adding them all back up to get a precise answer. This is the core logic behind integration, a key part of modern calculus. One of his most mind-blowing achievements came from applying this to the number pi. For centuries, mathematicians had struggled to calculate pi accurately. Madhava created an elegant infinite series that allowed him to calculate pi to an astonishing 11 decimal places. This was a world record that stood for centuries. He had unlocked a way to get closer and closer to the true value of pi by simply adding more and more terms to his series. It was a monumental leap in mathematical thinking. So, if Madhava was so far ahead of his time, why isn't he a household name like Newton? The answer lies in how knowledge was shared. Newton's work was published using the printing press, spreading rapidly across Europe and the world. Madhava's discoveries, however, were painstakingly recorded on fragile palm leaf manuscripts. This knowledge was passed down directly from teacher to student within the Kerala school, a closed and intimate system of learning. It wasn't meant for mass publication. Furthermore, for a long time, the history of science was written from a very Western-centric perspective, often overlooking or simply being unaware of monumental contributions from other parts of the world. Thankfully, history has a way of revealing its secrets. In the 19th and 20th centuries, scholars began translating these ancient manuscripts, and the world slowly started to realize the genius they contained. Today, Madhava's work is finally getting the recognition it deserves. He is no longer just a footnote. He is a revolutionary figure who fundamentally reshaped our understanding of the history of mathematics. Madhava's story is a powerful reminder that genius knows no geography and has no single timeline. It reminds us that history is filled with brilliant, forgotten heroes who laid the groundwork for our modern world, just waiting to be rediscovered. His legacy proves that great ideas can blossom anywhere, at any time. Thanks for watching, IBH. If this hidden history fueled your curiosity, smash that like button and subscribe for more mind-opening stories every Wednesday and Sunday. We'll see you in the next one.